What's up guys, this is Ray and in this video I want to talk about changing the sample rate to your session and changing the sample rate to individual audio files. And I'm going to explain and I'm going to show you a couple of things that I do. So over here I have a session originally recorded at 44k. The client isn't happy with their vocal performance so they want to come here to the studio and they want to read all the vocals. And you know what, that's fine. I could do two things. I could leave it at 44k, create a new track and just start recording the new vocals. And that's fine, I've done that. But if you want to take it a step further, you could change the sample rate, capture the audio at a higher resolution. So how do we go about doing this? So you want to come to file, you want to go to save copy in, the save copy in window is going to open. There's a couple of options here that you might want to adjust depending on your session. The first thing, we want to change the sample rate to 48K. Now you can select 88, 96, 176, 192. Just make sure the sample rate that you save it in is supported by your interface. Now, if we take a look here, items to copy. As you can see, Pro Tools automatically selected all the audio. I don't remember if older versions of Pro Tools automatically selects these options, but if it doesn't, you're gonna have to check them. And then over here, you have other settings like you want plugging settings, uh, your fades, your fade settings. There's a lot of options here. You just have to go through these and just select the ones you need. Once you do that, you press OK. Find the destination. And at the end, I'm going to name it 48K. So it's destruction 48K and save. So right now it's processing each individual audio file and it's converting them to 48K. All right, so everything's complete. I closed the session. Now it's time to open the new session and make sure everything's okay. Let's go ahead and do that. And we have it here. Destruction 48K, let's open that up. And check it out. So if you hold down control and number two, it's gonna bring up the session setup. And as you can see, sample rate 48K. And that's it, it's all done. So I could open a new track. I could bypass and hide all the original vocals and I could start recording at a new resolution. So the next thing I'm gonna show you, you're probably gonna do this a lot depending on the type of interface that you're working with. Now, if you're working and mixing other people's audio, they might have an interface that records and supports 192K. Maybe your interface only goes up as high as 48K. So let me show you what happens when you open a session that's not supported by your interface. And there's really nothing you can do about it. Well, actually there is. So I'm gonna show you how to solve this particular problem. It's very simple. Control N, let's set up a new session. Name it Destruction 96K. I'm gonna set the sample rate to 96K. I'm gonna leave everything else at default. Create session and find the destination, save. It created an empty session. So what we wanna do now, we wanna go to file and we wanna to go to import session data. And there's a shortcut for that, Alt-Shift-I. So Alt-Shift-I is gonna open that window and we're gonna look for that session. So over here you have some information about your session, but what we really wanna look at here, your source. You wanna select all, Control A, or you can do it this way. You can just highlight them all like this with the mouse. Just uh, select the top one and then just drag down. But the best thing is Control A. Over here at sample rate conversion options, Leave it at default, just make sure that apply SRC is selected. By default it should be, if not, just make sure that's selected. It shows you the source and it shows you the current sample rate, which is 96. And the conversion quality, you know what? Let's click this and let's select the slowest. That's gonna give you the best quality. And over here at session data, this is all up to you. If you wanna import some of these configurations, just check the proper ones and then press okay. So as you can see, it's converting. So if we go to window, we go to task manager, it's gonna show you what it's currently doing. And it's taken a while because I selected that slow option. And that option is gonna allow you to get the best quality. If you really enjoyed this video, you see that thumbs up button, click it. First time watching one of my videos, subscribe to the channel, it's completely free. At the same time, I want you to check the description. There's gonna be some information there regarding the subject that we spoke about. Also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus. I'm always posting a lot of information there. This is Ray and I'm out of here. Later guys.